currently are you shooting something or editing something in mumbai no no uh i i myself edited a series like uh, like last from last june to november uh, uh before that i was associate editor for dipika kalra and uh, parumita ghosh so that show has just come on uh, amazon big, girls, big girls don't cry first of all congratulations yeah yeah that thank you so much so that one has come out and uh, my own show is about to come in april or may post production is on edit is from uh, has been completed so uh, that's it then i'm starting something new uh, on uh, next month okay so you live in mumbai only or somewhere else yeah yeah i i live in mumbai varsova basically you are from mumbai or no i am actually from bengal uh, there is a place called barakpur somewhat 20 23 kilometers away from a uh, proper kolkata and from that place then uh, i did my graduation in journalism mass communication from acharya prafulla chandra college then uh, went on to do job in radio actually started my first job in radio red fm then joined a news channel then left the job and uh, started uh, my course in uh, editing in rupkala kendra that the state uh, governments like west bengal state governments film school over there completed my course and then moved to mumbai in 2017 yeah so my first question is what is the job of an associate editor and why you choose to become an associate editor ah uh, let me answer the second part first it's not about choosing uh, of being an associate editor it's a progression from assistant to associate Uh, so yeah uh, that was in process only i was assistant for two films uh 102 not out and uh, raid with uh, bodhai chevanji and then thereafter from uh, india's most wanted they gave me the credit of associate editor though i in those two films also i did everything that an associate does okay including the work of an assistant also so uh, uh for me th- those kind of segregation nowadays when i uh, was doing my last project as an associate or when i became an editor myself at that point only i uh, got to know or better to say that i came with this process of segregation like this is the assistant editor's job this is associate editor's job uh so uh, before that it was me only in almost every project and uh, it's not about uh, the, if you ask me the job of an um, associate editor it's on really about making life easy for the editor i believe you have to take uh things into your own hands so that like while editing myself i felt it so much because uh as an editor that editor cannot go on like uh thinking sorting or uh, um, editing a particular scenes uh, separately uh, and then because they have to keep in mind the bigger picture the whole narrative they have to keep these things in mind so it's not possible for them and it's not fair also uh, to take care of other things whether these things are and also apart from editing there are things mm, honestly uh, to take care beyond the editing dealing with the production team dealing with the direction team and uh, making things happen those things are needed 
uh, so that always cannot i mean the editor who is editing and uh, uh, taking care of the narrative keeping the big picture in the mind connecting and discussing and going in a joint venture with the directors that cannot be done with the, so these things cannot be done in the mind of the uh, editor so an associate editor's job is clearly to for me to make a timeline for the editor on which he or she will only have to think about the narrative how the story is being told whether the story telling is uh, like conveying what it is meant to be uh, said and the uh, sit with the directors and then convey when they convey their thoughts then to put that whether they are working it their should job should be only that everything before that dealing with the assistance even and everything everything uh, before that point is an associate editor's job basically so that the editors don't have to think about anything else i mean that usually uh, very hard to happen but while my days of uh, as an associate editor i tried my best to keep things away like things that doesn't matter or shouldn't matter to them uh keep away from them as much as possible so first of all during your graduation days like what did you study is it related to film something else yeah like i uh, graduation i did my graduation in journalism mass communication so mass com so because of the fact uh, the uh, cinema is a part of mass communication so there was proper paper and i got my uh i must mention my teacher in college my h of the uh, hod in my department old pita ball she made things rolling for me actually i am indebted to her um, until date because uh, my interest in cinema my interest in art and literature i like i heard i have heard and was aware of the things but she made things uh come to life to like going out of her uh, restrictions she managed and arranged a movie like uh, to be screened in our department so that we can watch them and discuss upon them bring the professionals <laughs> directors editors cinematographers uh whoever is available in very limited resource so she actually helped and from that point after uh, i watched two three movies the first film i uh, remember my senior only from my department of senior uh, she showed us uh, bicycle tip and that hooked me so much and from that point my college life in my college life also uh, it was like everybody has memories of college days canteen uh, and uh, friends and uh, singing in the uh, sitting in the canteen and everything i don't have those kind of things uh, what i used to do is as soon as my hod's uh, classes are over i'm out of the college and i used to travel to kolkata and uh, then i used to in kolkata the i don't know about now i'm sure uh, it is still there but at that time uh, at least there were very good things like uh, organizations used to arrange a uh, free screening of great movies like i remember there was a through four night like whole night five uh, four films of uh, francois truffaut were shown like man college days i didn't know his name at that back at that time i didn't know about the turns back at that time honestly uh, but i just because i had somewhat heard this name i went for it from college and the whole night uh, that thing and there used to be like i remember open city room i uh, uh, urged to i happened to bump into legendary filmmaker minal sen and i uh, told him 
because there was a Gorky Sadhan in Kolkata. Uh, the Italian Film Festival was starting that day only, and he was the person to inaugurate it. So I requested him that I want to watch this movie, but they have passes and everything. I don't have passes. So he brought me there and uh, said, okay, said to those people that they, he wants to watch the movie, let him watch the movie. So I remember watching Open City Room over there, eight and a half over there, uh, and Angelo Pulis' uh, Landscape in the Mist over there uh, at that place. Uh, and there, were, there used to be a great uh, short fiction film festival of Kalponit Short. I watched a few of the best short films over there at that time. So that uh, well, that Kira was there uh, at that time on, during my college days only. And everybody used to uh, like go for uh, Mascom related books. Uh, and there was a place called Nandan. Beside that, there is a library in KIC. Everybody used to go there for the Mascom related books. I used to go at the film uh, library of Nandan, at Nandan 4. So I used to be there only. I, it's not like I read too much and know too much. It's not like that, but I just used to go there, sit, and take any of the, on any of the books, sit with them. I, whether I understand it or not, doesn't matter. I uh, used to be with that. Then I got a job suddenly, like out of nothing. I got a job. I didn't know that I'll get the job, and I joined there, worked for two years in uh, FM. Then uh, that was not in Kolkata, that, is, that was in Asansol. Then I came back to uh, Kolkata, joined a news channel. And eventually the, my, all of my friends from my college, my, senior, my juniors, my seniors, my same batch, all of them had joined uh, Rupkola Kendu by then, a batch before me. And they used to curse me, okay, what are you doing? Uh, leave everything. And then at a certain point of time, I uh, decided to leave my job and join. Okay. So it was a film school? Yeah, it is a film school. And uh, it is uh, still here. And uh, I'm a fifth batch. Batch of group color for editing course. You know about the film Joram? Uh, yes, film jo yes, Joram by Devashis Mathija. Yeah, the film Joram. That editor, editor of that film is Abro Energy. He is also my uh, uh, institute's alumni. Okay, he won an award, Critics Award, a few days ago. Yeah, recently. Last week, yeah. So what was your experience in, in the film school, sir? So I joined the editing... Uh, yeah, so I joined the editing course over there. Meeta Chakraborty and Indrayal in Ghosh, they were our uh, faculty. Basically, Meeta Chakraborty is an alumni of FTII. Uh, Indrayal Ghosh is an uh, alumni of SRFTI. So I completed my course over there. Then tried to work in few films, but honestly, while doing the course only, I had it in my mind that I'll I will not work here. I will go to Bombay. I'll work in Bombay. So while in uh, basically uh, um, around second semester, I had this in my mind that I'll work in Bombay. So uh, in Kolkata, I uh, assisted Bodharita Banerjee in one uh, movie. And uh, then he shifted to Mumbai after editing things. And uh, I had it in mind that I'll come to Mumbai anyway. And when I decided that, and I informed him, and he said, hey, yeah, uh, I mean, come here. And in, as a matter of fact, when I uh, first came to uh, Mumbai, I stayed at his place only for one week. And uh, thereafter, uh, I joined a uh, production company for 20, 22 days. 
uh, I joined there as an because they needed my another of my senior was working there in Pradeep Sarkar's uh, uh, company. So uh, he was working there. He needed someone because he was supposed to go on a vacation. He needed someone in the office uh, for edit department. So I joined there. Then I, uh, Mr. Banerjee also didn't have any work back at that time, but he got the film one zero two not out. And uh, he asked me whether I'd like to work in it or not. So I said, yeah, I mean, this is what I came here for. So why not? So recently a series has been released, which you have worked on called Big Girls Don't Cry. So what was your experience while working in the series? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, the best thing about it was I got to work with two of the uh, my favorite editors whom I worked. I was working before that, Deepika Kalra, and uh, with whom I first worked in Shaini. Thereafter, after Shaini, I worked in a film called Yet to be Released, a uh, film called Uma. Um, Paramita Ghosh was the editor for that. And uh, then it happened like one film of her and one film of her. It was going on like that. And in this project, I got to work with both of them. And uh, like uh, the way it has been, the film has been written, Sudhanshu Sarya, or his another film, Sana, I worked in. It is, I'm hoping to keep in my fingers crossed that it gets released. It was uh, screened in uh, Ifi last year and everything. Uh, so he was the writer for this show uh, and uh, working with them was like the most fun thing that can ever happen. There was extreme work pressure, uh, but it, the technicalities and the, uh, like, uh, the drive to reach the perfection, that was too much in there. So it was a thoroughly enjoying experience. Are you currently working on any future projects or acting something? No, uh, uh, so I have edited one. I have just finished editing in last December. I have finished edited uh, one series uh, created by Rajkumar Gupta. So that will come out somewhat middle of this year and I'm uh, yet to be decide name uh, name of it me why so who wait series I'm going to start from this month okay. sir can you recommend few films and your favorite filmmakers yeah sure uh, so uh, I mean you want my favorite film or you want me to recommend something only? Uh, so your favorite film. Because, because I'm saying, I'm, I'm asking this because there are a few films which might not be my favorite, but uh, that's, you need to, like, it's great if you watch, watch them. Not They're not, your, they might not be my your favorite, favorite, but... Your favorite films. Yeah, my, my favorite, my favorite, uh, Let's start. Uh, my one of my favorite directors is Theo Angelopoulos. So all of his films, especially Eternity and the Day and uh, Landscape in the Mist and Suspended Step, Step of Stock. And uh, all Satyajit Ray movies, all of them, definitely. Uh, and all Ritwik Ghatak movies, like start from the 1951 Nagorik start from there and I mean, it's a joyride only and uh, after that a uh, few films like eight and a half I remember watching it and got blown away by it and uh, then uh, I mean these are very cliched but you can't escape these apocalypse now like watching it I had the fortune good fortune of watching it in on a big screen once and it was like something else. Full Metal Jacket is one of my favorite films uh, by Stanley Kubrick. And there is a film called Chil uh, Children of Men 
I believe everyone should, 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 must watch this movie, Children of Men. And uh, recent film, recent films, uh, like everything, everywhere, all at once, and uh, Triangle of Sadness. And recently, I saw Past Lives. It was in theater. I saw it, and I was blown up. Like it's some other level. I was really hoping to watch Monster. Everybody is saying Monster is great, but I, I didn't have the time to watch it. If well, it was in uh, theaters. And apart from apart from that, there are few films from Indian filmmakers. I believe, um, like Adil Gopal Krishnan go for it like just research his filmography download everything and i in one week complete everything you will know indian film like more than at least 95 percent of the cinephiles and sir your favorite editors are there any editors which you like My honestly, from uh, Sally Menke is actually one of my like watching Tarantino's movie, Sally Menke, and after Sally Menke is a different ex experience. I would also recommend everyone not to watch as an action movie only, but watch Kill Bill one and two from the point of view of, I mean, think of it as a love story. The word, I don't know the synonym or like, I don't know the English words for the word Abhiman, but how it can be projected in a film. You have to watch Kill Bill for that. And uh, edit-wise, how she during the, in the first part that, uh, edit of bringing back uh, Eisenstein's theories that that kind of uh, era of Russian uh, movement of in editing and all those things bringing the, all those things back. It's she's like. Sir, last question is: If somebody wants to become an editor, what advice would you give to them? First of all, understand this thing that this is the only thing. Uh, I mean, like in the, uh, uh, I was very glad to hear Christopher Nolan in uh, Oscar this year, and he said the thing I used to think in my mind uh, all these years, and I'm so glad to hear it from his mouth that this is only a hundred years old art form. Okay. Imagine a uh, painting or uh, music or dance or uh, literature as an art form in 100 years. When, from the time it started uh, in 100 years, where was it? And imagine, so it is culmination of all the art forms uh, that were there people brought together everything. The only thing that was new, the only thing that made a uh, simple uh, technological advancement that the pictures used to be still, and now we can see the things moving. That, that, that was merely a technical advancement and it was patented in that way only <clears throat> in the beginning. The only thing that made that technical advancement to an art form is editing. That was the only thing that was not there before. Okay. So, and get ready for a do a thankless job because at the end of the day, the glory will be of everyone else's. But remember, uh, uh, if you have seen the movie Man with a Movie Camera, so, that film's director, like I read somewhere, they used to just go with the camera shoot and edit in a dark basement where rats used to go over there. 
uh, feet and he and his wife and everything. So this is a thankless job, but believe it or not, this is where films actually, uh, cinema gets made. Whatever you might write, whatever you might shoot, things might be 180 degree different from what you vision, what you thought. So keep on, and the, my only thing is, if the narrative is right, it's not about, it's definitely not about softwares. The soft, softwares is something I like, it can be achieved in seven days. If I'm edit, uh, I am editing for last six years, I'm editing uh, in AVID. If I, if today I'll have to work in uh, Premiere, it will take me seven days to shift into that. It, and it doesn't matter at a certain and in a larger picture, the, the cuts, the whether you can see the cuts or not, and all those things, those things also doesn't matter. The main thing that matters whether it's telling the story or not, how the to story has been told that they, there are forms of that. If you're editing a documentary, if you're do editing and narrative, a fiction uh, film, those two different things will be different. If we're going for a language of storytelling, something different from the conventional way, that would be different. But whether it's telling the story or not, all those cuts, whether it has been cut very sharply, whether there are, there are uh, shots of uh, two frames or two seconds or 20 seconds, it doesn't matter whether it's telling the, I mean, if there is a shot uh, that is two minutes long and it's telling the story, and if there is a shot that is two frames along and it's telling the story still, uh, I, for me, uh, both of them are the same, like of same equivalent. So keep it in, keep that in mind, whoever is uh, trying to uh, pursue the edit section of this filmmaking. That is, and this is the most fun uh, and uh, adapt to be lonely because in the edit rooms, there, I mean, if there are too many people, you cannot uh, work. So uh, that is one fast, uh, fact of it. It's somewhat when uh, from uh, that, all that raw things, when something comes out where there was one shot that you have one look of an actor that has been uh, shot for some other reason maybe. And when you put that in between something else and it creates a third meaning, shot A and B and C together creates the meaning of B. That is a different joy. That is a different kick, different height. So enjoy that all. Sir, thank you so much for joining. Such such a pleasure to be able to talk to you. Thank nice you. to talk to you. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you, thank you so much. Akash, it was nice talking to you. My pleasure. Sir.